He's been through football ranks that have been abused by men who are still in football today. And don't let none of these pundits tell you I'm lying. So when is that going to hit them? When, when is that going to hit the fan? Or is there just too much money involved there? Because I know, mates, you just know. I, I experienced that as a kid in the, in the, the, the under 11 leagues. You know, with that Bob, the football manager smacking all our asses in the caravan. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't tell me it hasn't been going on in years before that and years after. Do you understand what I'm saying, people? So football, all it's doing is ruining men. Just fucking ruining men. That's what it does, like. Do you watch the game, lad? I don't watch football, mate. I'm not a supporter. I don't get caught up in that. What are all you all use? And obviously, you send kids to school, you send adults to football. Simple as that, lad. It's how you control them. Hello, Mary. Stephen Coletta. I'm Sam, I hope you're well too. Yes, Michelle. Yes, Woody. It's your word. I was saying, like, I was saying yesterday, man. You got people spending fortunes to watch 90 minutes of football or watch six hours of UFC. And then you've got people who will just wake up the next day and just go, right, let's see that, the goals. You don't even have to go onto Sky Sports or Terrestrial Telly. You just go on your phone, go through your FYP and eventually you'll have the result, you'll have the goals within 10 minutes. Sweet, you haven't got to sit there for 19 minutes, you know the results. Why you're all sat there engaged in some knobheads kicking a plastic thing around the field? Do you know what you look like on a mass scale? Do you know if I was a big dude looking down at you and going, Oh, get on all these little lads. Oh, look at them having a game of football. Oh, look at them all cheering. Oh, great. And you're paying for it. <laughs> you're paying for it. That's what's the worst thing about it, you're paying for a load of sh And just me hating on football is going to create enemies for me, you know. You've got kids whose dad is just like, as soon as they're out the womb, they're putting them in an arsenal, onesie or something. Do you understand that? Like, oh, if you're encouraging your kids to support a football team as he's growing up, you're encouraging them to be aggressive, you're encouraging them to be divisive, manipulative. All you see a fan doing, that's what you see, that. Like. Honest to God. And they'll do anything. They'll do anything to get the game. <laughs> they'll do anything. Even when the bear tells them they can't go, They'll cry till they can go, literally. The heaven whisperer, smoke and mirrors, whatever that means, like. Keeps people on track, says Whitley. On track to what though, lad? What do, we, what do they achieve at the end of that? Yeah, so look. I'm on this track, and all I'm focused on is earning a living and looking after my family. And because all I'm focused on, that, that is going through the roof. It's got me under percent attention. Everything's working sweet. I'm doing it right. It's doing what it needs to be done. My family's getting affluent. They're eating well, they're sleeping well. We're in secure environments. That's what you want. If you're going down that path with disbelief and you're making gains, then all of a sudden you pull football in and give that 50, 60, 70% of your belief and your time and your attention. This is going to be... It could have been 70% better than what it is right now, but why? Because you put all your belief and your energy and your emotions into this. When you're screaming at the telly, when you're jumping with joy, these are all emotions that you're putting into. What do you get at the end of that? Do you get a trophy? 
Do you get a certificate because you've supported that team for 40 years? No, you get a bank balance that it's empty every other month. That's all you're getting. Oh, if it's a social thing, a social thing that costs you foot on a game. Great, that. Got James all saying enjoyments. You don't enjoy it half of years, you just leave the fan crying because you've been battered 3 0. What do you mean, enjoyment? Imagine being a supporter in the lower league. How many games do you have? 39 games. They're losing 30. Imagine how them supporters are going home. Demoralised. Or still not giving up because it's all they've got. It's the only belief system they've had, so that's why they're not giving up. Like I don't give up on Christ. Like they don't give up on Muhammad. They don't give up on Peter Shilton or someone. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Mad. But the integrity la, the integrity of football is absolutely finished. And I don't know why, but I believe the reason he brought the VAR in is not to make the game fairer, it's to slow the game down, to bring the pace of the game to the same pace as the girls' sports. And that's why I'm not too sure, but correct me if I'm wrong, the girls' sports hasn't got VAR. You haven't got that technology getting used within the women's game right now. You've only got it used within the man's game, I think. And the reason they're only bringing it into the man's game is though they can bring the pace to the level of a woman's game. A lot of people will turn to a woman's football because of the continuation of the game instead of being interrupted by VAR all the time, if that makes sense. And that's what's going on. If you can't see it, obviously the world of football is a woman's world now. That's the way you need to look at it. Got cranny old Craig. Oh, he thinks he's James Bond. Let's get rid of you, lad. Chat and capers. Who's getting disheartened with men's football now? Is that a natural reaction or is that the reaction they knew was coming? Right. So you can see football players for the last 30 years starting to fall out of the game of football. You've got crowds dwindling, not turning up to the grounds no more. You've got points being deducted from teams that don't need the points deducting because the VAR system. You've got professional officials who are meant to have 100% professional integrity making decisions that they know is wrong. They know the wrong decisions, but they're making them. Regardless of the impact, regardless of the outcry, they're still making them. Why? Why have you got the so-called best officials in the world managing VAR and they're making all these mistakes? Why? Is it all mistakes, is it? There's no coincidence there at all, is there? It's all intent on destroying the man's game, slowing the man's game right down, keeping the woman's game fast and exhilarating, no interruptions, no VAR, wham, wham, wham. It's going to get the crowd over there. Be in the gym, lad. Yes, me. I'm not a footy fan, so you are what you are, lad. It's when you see all these, like, St George's Day. You see St George's Day, and you had, like, um, all the English doing the protests in London. And I'd say 50% of them on that day were football supporters from different clubs around the country. The men. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, them same men that were standing soldier to soldier on this protest for St George's Day with Tommy Robertson as the lead speaker. 
But you understand what I'm saying? Them same men, a week later, will be trying to damage each other because one's from West Ham and one's from Everton. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Mad, isn't it? And to be honest, you know when you've got everyone complaining about um, these women pundits, you know, on the, they're on most of the platforms now, women pundits, aren't they? To be honest with you, you know, it was getting stale and boring with the same faces, wasn't it? That's another thing why supporters are starting to watch Match of the Day. It's not because you've got fresh women pundits on there, it's because you've still got Gary Lineker, and you're still seeing Alan Shearer. And you're still seeing all these faces. They're not, you know, you need change, mate, to keep involved. Everything needs to be changing slowly but surely, do you understand?